Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about uh, fetching the details of uh, the issue, especially the history part. So this is a very common uh, and I would, I would say um, mostly requested uh, thing that I encounter. People really want to know about the history of uh, the issues and uh, in Jira we definitely have this uh, history tab where you can look at uh, the information where you can of course uh, understand uh, what all has been uh, happening with the uh, with the issue and uh, this is actually great because you need to know the history you need to know when this particular issue uh, was uh, transitioned who did who did that transition or maybe if uh, there is a change in any field maybe you want to know who did that change what exactly happened uh, in the whole life cycle of the issue so doing this is uh, uh, possible when you look at the issue in the history tab but uh, it, there is no way to export everything easily maybe in uh, a simple excel table or maybe in a csv file or maybe if you want to programmatically access that information uh, so there is no easy way and there are some add-ons that you can use you can also do something with the rest api but today let us uh, write a script let us write a simple script using a script runner for jira and uh, let us try to understand if we can fetch the history especially the change history or uh, whatever change has been happening with the issue so right now i have this code in front of me and so far this code is not really doing much we have some import statements on top so that we can actually work with the uh, with the issue and the first thing that we need to do we need to get this uh, issue so right now we are talking about one specific issue and uh, this will give you basically a good idea how you can uh, or what all you can do with the script runner so right now this particular issue contains the uh, issue which is my android 38 so i'm using my shuki and if i probably return this you can see uh what exactly there in the issue so right now it is nothing but the issue key but you can go further you can get the summary you can get the details of the issue but uh, we also need to understand how we can get the change history so for, for doing that you do you need to first use this uh, uh, change history manager so if you type in this line uh, basically you de you're defining this uh, this uh, 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 this variable here change history manager and this will contain the uh, the object or the details of uh, basically the history of the issue so we have this change history manager and uh, let us see if we can uh, do something with this so if you type in change history manager which should contain um, the history information and if you are not sure what you can do with the script runner you can use of course the new code editor if you press control space you have all the methods that you can now use so i'm trying to basically find out uh, what all i can get so there is something called as get all change items we also have get change histories so let us see if uh, we can do something with the get change histories and if i probably do a return i think uh, this is a very nice way to just quickly understand uh, what exactly we can fetch uh, by using this method and by the way I also need to pass my issue object so if I do a run I can definitely get something I, I have a lot of items that are probably there for me and uh, since this is a list I can probably focus on just the first element this is basically my way to quickly understand uh, uh, what all I can do so this will definitely return the very first item in this particular uh, list and there is no unique item here there is no unique number there is something unique but uh, i'm not sure if it, it will work or not i'll probably figure out by doing control and uh, space bar again after i press the uh, the the dot the full stop and i do have some options that i can uh, now take a look at for example there's something called let's change items let us see if i can find something so i can definitely retrieve uh, uh, things like uh, new value uh, and uh, I believe uh, there is something called as old value we do have this basically uh, the status so right now this particular item is showing us that 
the status field was changed and it will tell you the old string the new string and i think this id is probably the uh, the id of uh, the status and uh, uh, let us see if we can get something with the second one so this second one is also talking about uh, not the status but the priority so this is fine this looks good uh, but there is no date here there is no created date so let me see if I can use the other. I'm sure there is something here. If I probably, instead of doing change items, if I uh, maybe look at uh, created, uh, there is no created here. I'm just trying to understand if we do have any date. So there is no, so there is no date here. Maybe there is a date here, but uh, let me try something else that I'm actually aware of. So if you type in uh, control space again, and, and if you do get, there is something called as get all change items and you can pass in of course your uh, actual issue and let us see if we can uh, retrieve uh, something here so we are able to retrieve uh, something similar it looks similar to what we did earlier and uh, let us again try to focus on the very first element and if i do control space bar right now i do have uh, a timestamp which is great apart from timestamp i also basically need to know let me first see if, if i can retrieve the date so yes i can uh, retrieve the date uh what i what else i can do here if i type in maybe so there is something called as field this will probably return me the status or for the second item it should return me the priority which is great uh so this looks like uh this this particular method get all change item seems like it will uh, work so let me uh, also find out maybe the value that was changed uh, along with the initial value and the new value so i'm sure there is something called as uh, value i'm trying to understand <clears throat> No, there is nothing, nothing called as value. I'll probably type in from. So this should return something, hopefully, because I know there is a from uh, value. So maybe I can use from or from value. I'm not sure. Let us try from. If we can retrieve something. Yes, we can retrieve from, uh, which is to do. If I do probably one here, my second uh, item. So it is retrieving me the priority. So apart from from, I can probably use two i'm just guessing so it looks like it is here yeah, there is a two so if we probably check so this like this it seems like it is working so we do have so so basically this particular method will, will will return the list or some kind of an array that will contain uh, uh, i think it's a collection and uh, it will uh, be able to i mean it will enable us to do further things we can uh, retrieve the date we can retrieve the field that was changed the original value and the new value so this looks good i think we are all set all we need to do all we need to do now we need to probably loop this thing so for looping this i will probably return or uh, not return but i'll probably uh, change it to for loop uh, and uh, I'll probably use uh, some kind of a variable change in and uh, this seems like it should work so if I probably type in here change dot created let us see if this will yep this will uh, definitely return something uh, we also need uh, apart from change dot created the um, field from value and to value so i want to basically create some kind of a string and i want to comma separate them or maybe you know print them nicely so first i want to probably create uh, some variables so i'll uh, use a variable for created that will hold my date i'll also create a variable for my field i hope i can use this field um from and maybe two i hope it works so at the same time i also want to create a variable that will hold everything basically my um 
I have to build a string basically. So this looks good. Uh, and all I need to do now is I need to assign this. So created will store my my date. Field will store my uh, change dot field. Let us see if we have. Yep, we have this. From will store my change dot from to. Oh, there is some warning. Okay, so it's it is saying that I prefer to use this. So let us ignore this. Um, so I'm just trying to you know build the string and I'm uh, collecting all the all the fields basically all the information that I need to have in my string and then I'll probably uh, print everything nicely so I'll uh, probably and right now we're talking about the first item and it will loop in it will pr probably iterate for all the items in the uh, change history manager so I'll type in here my output output uh, is equal to output plus I want created plus um, followed by field, followed by my from, followed by my to. So this seems to be okay. And finally, I may want to print it. So I'll just return my output. Let us see if this works or not. I've written this, this code uh, quite quickly. So we do have something. And it looks all right. All we need to do, I believe, is make it a bit more pretty. So I will probably, um, uh, first of all, I need to make sure that after every line, uh, there is a break. So I'll probably break it. And uh, yep, this looks good. This looks good. Not bad at all. And I may want to also use some delimiters, I believe. So it looks slightly more uh, readable so I want to have created followed by field and maybe one more uh, column here yeah this looks good and uh, between from and to I may want to have uh, maybe some kind of an arrow so it looks good I think this is fine and if I return this um, this looks quite okay to me. So you can see here for this issue, we have uh, the timestamp. We also have the status that is changing from to do to in progress and so on. So you can see here that there is a lot of activity happening and uh, it will tell you quite a lot of things in one shot. And by the way, we are just talking about one specific issue. Let us change it to something else. Let us change it to maybe 39 if 39 is there in our instance. So no, I, th I don't think there is any 39 issue or maybe uh, there's no change history. Uh, let us try something smaller, 32 maybe. So yeah, this looks good. I think uh, I think this particular piece of code is a good starting point if you want to do something with the change history. And, uh, and of course, when you're writing scripts, also make sure that you also do some error handling. And, uh, and uh, for example, if you're talking about the issue, the issue should exist if you're talking about uh, the change history or if you're talking about some of the fields uh, and they don't really exit, exist. So just make sure you have some error handling code uh, in your uh, script. So this is all I uh, wanted to share in this uh, video and uh, I'm really enjoying uh, working with script runner and uh, the purpose of my videos is basically to show you how you can do these simple things and then of course you can combine them together as i mentioned before so if you have been following my videos uh, so far i have talked about all the things that you can do with script or not without writing any code using the built-in scripts or you maybe using very simple one-line scripts uh, but uh, for the past one month i have been creating these videos but i'm also trying to share how you can uh, write an actual script and do something useful with your uh, Jira instance. So I hope this uh, video was useful. Thank you very much. <laughs>